It's great to be back here in, uh, in the UK, though. You're slowly turning into Burma. <laughs> so Cameron got accolade from China today for his suggestion to ban uh, people using uh, Twitter and Facebook because of the riots. That's uh, his solution to the problem. No, they can't use Twitter and Facebook. Uh, didn't the Western leaders praise those tools a couple of months ago when other people were uh, kind of rioting against their governments? Yeah, well, it's different. It's illegal to loot. Yeah, it is illegal to pr protest against your government if you're Egyptian, too. I find it funny that nobody seems to care. But it does uh, make sense now, though, that Cameron recruited the Andy Colson. I suppose if that's your style of government, Good phone hacker would come in handy. <laughs> and everybody deserves a second chance, obviously. Unless you're a looter, guilty of uh, shoplifting a £3.50 water bottle. You get six months in jail for that? That's fucking rough. This is worse than I ran. He stole the water bottle, £3.50. £3. And people are like, well, it's a rough penalty. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I really do. But on the other hand, if you walk into a shop, you can steal anything you fucking want. And you take a water bottle? <laughs> I think you deserve six months in prison. <laughs> and not for the crime, but for stupidity. <laughs> Strange. I was just in, uh, came from Belfast. I did a gig there. That's the Palestine of Europe. That was fun. You know, competing between Protestants and Catholics, I find it funny. It's like deciding on the best way to be stupid, if you ask me. <laughs> if there would be a god, do you think he would give a shit about broke-ass Catholics or Protestants? He's sticking with the Muslims. They have the oil. <laughs> Bin Laden killed this year? This has been such a strange year of news. I'm a news junkie. I don't know about you, but I'm a news junkie. I can't take it. It's just been crazy. Right before Christmas, we had our first suicide bomber in Sweden. Yeah. Typical Swede, though, obviously. He only killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> People went crazy about, oh, terrorism! Oh, relax. It's a good type of terrorist. <laughs> How does that even happen? You know, you're a suicide bomber, you kill only yourself? <laughs> uh, I'm not really a people's person. <laughs> I did it in my garage. <laughs> Strange year of news. It's really bad. Bin Laden killed. He was buried according to Muslim customs. <laughs> now, uh, I know a lot of Muslims. I have read the Quran and I've read a couple of other books on Islam. I can't remember anywhere anything about the Muslim custom being shot in your face, taken out on a U.S. hangar carrier and dumped to the bottom of the ocean. I uh, must have missed that somewhere. The uh, Pentagon says it's true. It probably is. Sweden had a suicide bomber and we're in a war. We used to be the neutral country, for fuck's sake. Yeah, we, we, we were neutral. Neutral, of course, you know. Sorry? Oh yeah, you've been there. Anything else you want to share? <laughs> there is a really good reason why I don't do audience participation. And you're it. <laughs> there, are, there are comedians who are great at that. They're like, they make the room spark. Like, sorry, are you a couple? What, what do you do for a living? And I just, I'm on stage every night, and I love the fact that you're here. This would be fucking stupid if you weren't. <laughs> but, you know, I just couldn't give a shit. I don't care. What do you do for a living? That's your fucking business. Just sit back, relax, enjoy the show. If you don't enjoy it, just leave. Just don't talk to me. That's, that's why I am a, that's why I became a comedian, you know? That's the main reason I became a comedian is I wouldn't have to sit through endless dinners with strangers asking them questions I couldn't give a shit about the answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm doing this, you know? And I'm an alcoholic, which is... <laughs>